What's up, everybody? This is Ildris with GGTV. Uh, I've got some exciting news for you today, as well as an exciting game. Awesome stuff. So, I found out uh, just a couple hours ago that Teedly is hosting Slaughterfest 2, a StarCraft 2 tournament uh, online for the bronze through platinum, I believe, leagues. Uh, to enter. It has a prize pool of $50. Uh, top three spots are paid. It's free to enter. So this is going on on February 9th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're available, definitely go check it out. I'm going to be entering. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be live streamed on Twitch TV. I'll actually have all the info in the description below. Uh, it'll have a link to Teedly's channel as well as to the Team Liquid thread that has all the information, all the details, and a place to sign up. So, uh, just a few days left for that. Go sign up. Go have some fun. Got my delicious water here. Mmm. Nice and cool. So, so, I also have a game for you today. It's an exciting one. It's another one of mine from the Gold Ladder, and it is a PvP. We'll go ahead and hop right into it. Let's pull her up. Okay, you should be into it now. And you should see that I have a new overlay for the timer over here. Uh, it's a little cluttered, I think, but uh, definitely, definitely uh, let me know what you think of it. Um, it does allow me to show the league that it's in and you know it's a little something a little more spiffy so let's go ahead and get in this game um, I am in the top top left hand corner uh, playing the red protoss and we have the blue protoss almost cool so close so close to being cool but not quite and you actually saw earlier what he's talking about um, where he accidentally clicked his probes into the little spot down here instead of on the mineral patch which is always a bummer right when you start a game it never bodes well for the rest of it <laughs> so as you can see it is a pvp on uh, one of the new maps Akalon Flats I'm actually enjoying this map a bit uh, I haven't got to play it in HOTS yet but so far in Wings of Liberty it's fairly nice uh, and you see it's a fairly standard Opening so far, uh, nine pylon, Chronos and probes, Chronos and probes. Uh, almost cool is getting his scout up a little bit early. Just wanting to come in and check out what's going on. Lay down that 13 gateway. And interestingly, you see that almost cool has laid his pylon down near his ramp, and he's going to be placing his buildings along the ramp. I'm assuming for a wall off. Uh, I don't recommend it. I don't like doing it in PvP myself. Just because it it you know you leave your buildings open to attack earlier, uh, and let's say you know you deny my first wave of units up the ramp, I can still put zealots or whatever up on the ramp to give me vision, and then have stalkers down here just shooting at your gateway until it goes down. Uh, so I don't recommend it. Some people do it for a while off. Um, I don't. I'm not one of those people. So. Uh, when I played this match, that day had been a very poor day for laddering. Uh, I think I lost five matches in a row and just become, became so infuriated that I couldn't play anymore. I just quit. Uh, and this match was was a doozy. Was a doozy. Uh, you did. You know. Uh, you notice here that he got his probe in, and I never saw it. He actually slipped it in and just kind of snuck it along the path right here, up in behind these trees, which is very clever. Uh, I never noticed that it was there. Like the poor, poor gold league player I am, never saw it. Great awareness. Good stuff. But as you can see, everything's pretty standard so far. Nothing too exciting going on. It looks like. Uh, it's a four gate from almost cool, and it looks like a four gate from Eldris as well. So that's fairly standard in PvP. Uh, you're not gonna find a whole lot of variants on that. Maybe in the Bronze League and Silver League, and then higher up into you know once you get 
towards high masters and grand masters. Everything in the middle is kind of always 48 versus 48 uh, in PvP. Just because it works so well. And typically, when it does come down to a 4-gate versus 4-gate, it just comes down to whoever is faster. So, the, basically, the idea is, as a Protoss player, in this matchup, of course, you know, you do want to learn how to macro. That's that's the end goal, is learning how to play correct macro games. Because um, once you get high enough and you learn how to hold these kind of things off, you're fast enough, you're you know, well-versed enough in what to do uh, against these, you know, early, just aggressive pressures, these all-ins, these one-base all-ins like this, uh, as you become accustomed to holding them off, your macro games become more important. Um, of course, in other matchups, though, I don't usually use these, these sort of things, uh, PVZ, I typically go Forge Fast Expand and PVT. I'm just lost, to be honest. Oh, but here we go. Some action going on. He did throw down that proxy pile line inside my base. I never found it. He warps in two Zealots and two Stalkers to start and going right after the Nexus and then after the probes. I do pull my probes to attack these Zealots uh, and they are working them down while the two Stalkers continue on the Nexus. He's throwing down another proxy pile line. While down here, I've got my own proxy pile lines in, sending in four Zealots. Five Zealots, excuse me, and I should have a Stalker, there it is, going straight after his probes. He is getting his probes out, running them off, while I continue to use my own probes to attack. They do all fall, except for the one in the gas. I warp in four Stalkers and just use them to micro on his Zealots, forcing him to run away. Just using the superior speed and range of the Stalkers. I do make a, a mistake there, uh, getting that, that Stalker caught. He's warping in more zealots, which is intelligent because in PvP these zealots do a lot of damage. They are you do have to continually micro them with your stalkers in order to get away, so it does make it more difficult. Down here, I have my own zealots going to work on his buildings, and I do actually m make another mistake here and not microing these two stalkers against the zealot. I do manage to take it down, but he does have reinforcements plus these other units already up here, and that stalker is going to go down easy. So it's become a base race in this situation. I had to get this one probe out. I'm not sure why I'm continuing to make probes. That should have been canceled. It been used for either an assimilator. Uh, actually, I have so low minerals that 50 minerals only would have afforded me an assimilator somewhere else, so I would have a better chance in this base race. He did get all his probes out. He's up here. He doesn't have enough minerals to make anything else either. So basically, it's down to he, he's got one assimilator, these three structures, plus these two pylons up here. I'm working on, or he's working on, my four gates, my assimilator, nexus, cybernetics core, plus my two uh, proxy pylons down towards his base. So he's pulling in all his probes in order to come attack these buildings as well, which is a very smart thing to do, because with this many probes, even though they don't do a lot of damage, they will add up. With 16 probes, he's got four zealots and a stalker. I am working with six zealots and one stalker and I believe I have a probe little probe there he is almost cool still has another probe available as well it looks like he's checking for uh, hidden expansions just in case of course I know I have absolutely nothing it's gonna come down to this base race scenario and I've taken care of all his buildings down here I'm moving my units up I realize at this point that I'm not gonna be able to get in and attack his his proxy pylons immediately. I'm going to have to deal with his army first. Making my way up here. Confident. Chug, chug, chug. The train of the red Protoss. So currently it's 16 supply versus 28. I'm going to have to get a very, very good exchange here in order to win this match. And it looks like he's bringing his probes down. All of his units coming down the ramp, forming a bottleneck for my, for my zealots just to get in there and just kill these probes. These zealots are just going to town on these probes. This one stalker firing in his little laser beams just taking everything down. Down to two zealots left. These four probes are going to work and it's going to be so close. They all go down all at once. There's nothing but stalker versus stalker. This stalker has no shields, no health left. It's running for its life and it just can't escape. They have the same speed and down he goes. One more shot. GG.
that's the match. That was just an absolutely epic match. When I was playing it, my heart was pounding, the adrenaline was rushing through my veins. Like I said, I'd had a terrible day on ladder, and I just couldn't get everything together. Finally, I did manage to win one, even though it was very, very close. So that was a very fun game, very awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I sure did. Um, uh, I want to take this moment to thank all my subscribers. Much love for all of you. Uh, thank you all for the support you've shown. I certainly appreciate it. Uh, and to everybody else who's checking out these videos now, if you haven't subscribed, hit that button for me. There's always more to come. And if you can, send in your replays. It could be any game. It doesn't matter. As long as it's a competitive game, something fun, I would love to cast it. Put it up on the channel. Send all those to GamerGenusTV at gmail.com. And if you would like some tips, some coaching, if you're stuck in the Bronze League, send me something to that same email. I'd love to help you out. I uh, believe that's all I've got for today. This is Eldris with GGTV. Peace, everybody.